welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your quick energy check and reading and let's see what the universe wants you to know about your situation and your person and what could be coming in for you spirit what messages do you have for aquarius what do they need to know all right so we have differences aquarius what does aquarius need to know all right so this card just flew on the floor give me one second The card that fell on the floor was Narcissist. Aquarius. Reevaluate where this is going. Let's get one more. Oh, universe said two. All right, so we have possibilities, reconciliation. Reevaluate where this is going. And a narcissist. Some of you are dealing with someone who only wants things their way. When I was doing you guys pre-shuffle, I saw Leo so many times in your reading. I saw the strength card being reversed. Um, I saw the king of wands. Um, I saw the sun card being reversed a lot. So I feel like some of you are going through something with a Leo right now. And you're trying to evaluate where this is going. Or if you're going to let this person stay in your life or walk away from this. We have, there's potential in this relationship. However, know that this could translate into a big project. Is it worth hanging on to this person? You have to decide that is what the universe is saying. I feel like what this card is basically trying to say when it says it would translate into a big project or being a project is that somebody needs to change or you want something to change in this person. It's like you're either going to accept who they are, Aquarius, and realize that they're going to be this way forever and then try to see if this is something that you want to deal with because we all have our deal breakers so is whatever this person doing a deal breaker or do you feel like at some point they will change but i do see reconciliation for those of you who um who are either worried about that or wondering about that will you reconcile with this person will you guys try to fix things and get back on point this person is still being a narcissist. They're self-absorbed. They play a lot of manipulative head games. They get off on confusing you and gaslighting you and then coming back in to love bomb you. We also have differences. Maybe we are just too different to make the relationship work. So some of you may be starting to feel like, okay, like um, this is not the person for me. Or maybe sometimes you feel like, yeah, this is the person for me. And then other times it's like, no. And that's why I said the universe is saying it's time to reevaluate where this is going. And whether you can put up with the bad times, you know. Because it's not going to always be good times with this person. That's with anybody, though. You know, there's good and bad times. But, um... We have epiphany. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. So either this person thinks you're walking away from them or you've already walked away. Because there's a woman down here at the bottom walking away. And this person is thinking about it. Like either you're, you've are you walked away from them and they're like, wow, okay, I want Aquarius back. Or they're like, okay, what if Aquarius leaves me? Like, what is that going to mean for my life? Spirit messages do you have for Aquarius? What do they need to know? This person could be talking about you to someone else or just talking about you guys' situation, maybe getting advice. We have gossip. They are complaining about you to others. So they could be complaining and blaming something on you, saying that something is your fault. We have very soon, you will see the situation resolve itself. All right. So there is help on the way via the universe, Aquarius. Learn to forgive. Somebody's going to want your forgiveness about something. Something they said, something that they did, they're going to come to you. You may get flowers from someone, but if you don't, they still just may ask for your forgiveness or, you know, want to know if you guys can get back on track here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Oh, the universe is saying, don't back down. Fight for what you believe in. Stand tall on that. Whatever it is that you're wanting from this person. We have leave the situation, 
it's time to leave it all behind, wrapping it up. Some of you feel like this is it. I'm done because we have stringing you along. You may feel like this person is keeping you as a plan B. They have no intentions of committing. You feel like they give you a lot of false hope. And this person is like, no, I don't. I love you. I'm always thinking about you, but I'm just not ready to settle down right now. So you could just be in two different places right now. And this is why the universe is saying it's time to reevaluate this connection because are you willing to wait for this person to get themselves together so that they are ready to settle down? Or no, you know? You're like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Some of you are, I don't know why I'm here. Some of you are like, nope, I am not. I am not willing to continue to wait. Because some of you may have waited for a long time. It could be years you've been with this person. Like more than six. I don't know why I'm picking up more than six. All right. So we have door. new doors are opening now and new opportunities are coming your way. So there is an opportunity coming in. This could be with money. This could be with love. This could be anything. This is general. Very general. How about we clarify this part? And I don't clarify a lot because most of the time it's pretty cut and dry for me. But... It says new doors are opening now and new opportunities are coming away. So, so to clarify this card for Aquarius. Why is new doors and opportunities opening up and coming Aquarius way? Why is that card here? Why is this card here? What does it mean for Aquarius? Clarify this card. Oh, the universe is saying keep shuffling. What is coming in for you? Oh, okay. Here we are. A confession. So someone, again, confessing something, um, ready to come clean, right their wrongs, exposing the truth and all that's hidden, expressing their heartfelt feelings and emotions for you. So this is what the universe is talking about. New doors are opening up for you when it comes to this person. Maybe you have a lot of doubts and you're just like, there's no way. So you're thinking about making an exit plan for yourself or how you're going to do this or, you know, um, We have new doors are opening. I just feel like somebody is like not going to want you to leave or they're going to try to keep you from leaving. They're going to do whatever they have to to keep you to, you know, keep you from leaving, make you, to make you stay. No, nobody can make you stay. But I just feel like this person is going to try to keep you around. We have alone time. I'm taking the time to be alone and balance my emotions. Yeah, some of you are pulling back from this person or you have pulled away from them. You may have told them that it was over. You don't want to be with them anymore. This person doesn't know if you're serious this time around. Like if it's really over for good. Or if this is something that you're saying because you're angry or you're mad. But I feel like some of you want to be alone to figure it out. Because you feel like when this person is around you. Or um, if you're texting them or talking to them on the phone. You may feel like they sort of disturb your energy or your peace when it comes to thinking about doing the right thing you may feel like they distract you you're like i can't think about what it is i need to do if this person is always you know telling me don't go don't leave i'm sorry but they keep doing the same thing to you they keep showing up in the same way why am i hearing um you keep doing the same thing but expecting different results so some of you may be letting this person continuously get away with the same thing that you've already told them that it irritates you or bother you or you're not putting up with it. They keep doing it. You keep letting them get away with it. And you feel like at this point, like you have to put your foot down. All right, let's see. We have dying love. I was trying to remain hopeful but I feel you slipping away and pain, hurt, and sadness. So somebody is so sad about you, Aquarius. This person miss kissing you. I want to kiss you in a way that shows how much I love you. I miss you. We have not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over. Someone feels like there's unfinished business between the two of you, but I feel like you want to start dating or you've already started dating, ready to start dating, meeting new love interests, getting over someone. You're ready to get over this person. Do you have dry spell here? You do. I haven't seen this card in a long time. <laughs> Sexual abstinence, no action in love. So it's either you're not wanting to be intimate with this person or this is how they're feeling about you. Like you're holding back from them. 
They miss you, but they feel safer watching you from a distance or trying to overcome a fear of reaching out to you. So this person feels like if they reach out to you and try to talk to you, that it's just going to be an argument where you're not going to see things their way. But why should you? If somebody is cheating on you or doing some old foolish shit, <laughs> like why should you see it their way? Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aquarius? All right, so we're going to get a couple more and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Stand in your power. consuming too focused on one person some of you block this person they may be drinking thinking about you it says drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony and you just want to stop thinking about whoever this is you're like i don't want to think about this i'm just tired of thinking about whether i should leave or stay some of you are just tired of thinking about it you're tired of waiting when you bring up a situation, whatever is going on, of course, it's going to be different for everyone. So take this message, how it resonates for you. They feel like um, they feel like you're just complaining all the time, but you're like, no, my like my complaints are valid. Like this is what you're doing. I don't like how it makes me feel. And so you're like, I'm tired of waiting. And you're like, okay, I don't see what else, like, what else is it for me to do? But so, like, walk away from this. I feel like some of you just want to give up. And you're like, don't come around trying to get me to stay once I give up. It's like, once I'm done, I'm done. I'm here in Aquarius for some of you. Let's see. Extra effort. Sit this out. Blindsided. You're going to be blindsided with someone trying to get your attention, but you're blocked off. Some of you have really shut down on this person. But there's something that's coming that you don't see coming here. Something is not quite right. Wait a little longer before taking action. Some of you may be wondering, should you text this person or call them? The universe is saying no. And I feel like the reason why the universe is telling you no is because there's something that you don't see coming. So this person may reach out to you. So you're not going to have to reach out to them. They're going to put the extra, um, the extra effort in. That was a tongue twister. <laughs> I feel like somebody is going to put the extra effort in. They're going to go out of their way to change your mind, Aquarius, about how you see them or how you see this relationship. Yeah, definitely. We have there's still hope. And we also have not talking. Oh, you have a caution card here. I feel like the universe is cautioning you about this person in some sort of way. I don't feel like it's bad, though. I'm not picking up bad vibes. I feel like the universe may be cautioning you to look out for this person coming in. Maybe you feel like, no, it's done. They're not going to reach out to me. I'm not going to reach out to them. It is what it is. And maybe you're starting to just face the facts or that's how you're looking at the situation. Like, I just need to face the facts that this may never happen. And then someone comes in putting all of this extra effort in and I feel like you're not going to know what to do about it. And the universe is saying, sit this out, let them take the will, let them show you that they're really serious about what they're saying. So make them prove it basically. Okay, let's jump into some tarot. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What do we need to know? Let's see if this King of Wands come back. Because the King of Wands came out so many times for y'all in the pre-shuffle. I know some of y'all own oh, this person. Somebody's being really stubborn here. My cards are sticking. Oh, yep. Mm, okay. The Six of Cups. Reconciliation. Someone is afraid to reach out to you. You see how long I was shuffling? Are they afraid to open up and talk to you about something? We have the five of swords. This is being narcissistic. Narcissistic, Yeah, this person won in their way. Failure to surrender. Their behavior is inappropriate, but they fail to see the way they're acting. So I feel like you had no choice but to pull away from this person or just shut down on them. Maybe you didn't pull away. Maybe you just shut down. Some of you just stopped talking. You're like, I don't feel like being bothered. 
yeah there was a tower situation here so some of you got into a uh, fight or argument or something happened out of the blue that you didn't see coming some chaos here sudden drama some sudden drama happened unexpected change could have been a breakup or just you and this person arguing and now you're like okay I don't know how to fix it. They don't know how to fix it. So you're just here. You're stuck in the midst of this tower situation. But um, for some of you, I feel like you both want to talk. Because the Six of Cups is here. But remember, the universe said, sit this out, Aquarius. Especially if you're the one that feels you were done wrong. So take it how it resonates for your situation. Flip and reverse the roles as need be. Uh, we have the devil here in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio with the tower or an Aries. You feel like this relationship has become toxic. I feel like this person is going to start showing you some behavior that you haven't seen from them before. Maybe just... Um, Really trying to get your attention. The Ace of Pentacles, you're focused on money. Something. Maybe this is this new opportunity that was coming in for you because you did get that card. Um, a financial new beginning, new job, new business, something you've invested in. Stability and abundance coming in for you with the Ace of Pentacles. The universe is gifting you something because you've worked really hard for it. You've put in the work, Aquarius. Maybe that's where your focus is. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands, the Death card reverse, the Ten of Cups reverse. Oh, you do not want to make up with this person or you're not ready to make up with this person after a fight. We have the five of wands, the nine of swords, worry, fear, anxiety. Somebody has a fear that you're just not going to forgive them and then that is over. And this person is really worried about this with the ten of wands. But they're not ready to let this go. They're not ready to move forward and just be done. This may be someone who's like, I got to change and I got to make a quick change. Because Aquarius, your card came right up here. So your energy is really strong here. Where you're like, okay, if I'm not going to have this happy family or this happy home situation that you want with this person. Some of you want, you want a family and you're like, I want things to be right and I'm just tired of dating. And if you're not going to settle down and commit to me, then what are we doing? Then we're not doing anything. And this person, they're now realizing they have to hurry up and fix something here with the Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. Huh. All right, so we do have the Knight of Cups. So I do see them coming in. This is this person going to be on your heels, Aquarius. Tell you, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or someone who's going to be um, extra emotional and you're not used to seeing them act that way. And so I may throw you off. You may be like, why are you chasing me now? Like, why are you being emotional now? And are you going to stay that way? I feel like it's not It's not that they're coming in, being emotional about the situation and letting you know that they still love you and they want to fix this. It's not that. It's like, okay, once you tell me this, is it going to remain this way or is it going to change? Like, you know, in a couple of months, are you going to go back to the way you were before? We have the three of swords here. Seven of swords. Some of you don't trust this person. That's the problem. You're like, I'm tired of being disappointed. I'm tired of being hurt. I don't trust you. So you're separating for those reasons for some of you. Possibly third party energy here. I know everyone is not going through a third party situation. But um, yeah, knight of swords. Someone's going to come in trying to explain something to you. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We have a lot of air here. Or you're on someone's mind, they keep thinking about you, and they're like, okay, I just need to come towards. Because we have two nights. Nights are movement. So there will be movement in this situation. Let's 
okay what messages do you have for Aquarius oh okay you're tired of someone leaving you out in the cold and then coming back with the page of cups we have the strength card here here's a leo energy that i was seeing earlier um and here's the king of wands All right, so it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, definitely a Leo for a lot of you. And you're like, okay, you keep leaving me out in the cold with the five of pentacles, but then you keep coming back to offer me love whenever you think I've pulled away. You're like, I don't have the strength to do this anymore. This person keeps turning their back on you for some reason. Um... I don't know why I'm picking up for some of you that this King of Wands has so much other stuff going on. It's like they want to come in and make sure you're still available, but then their back is still turned. It's like they still have other things that they need to handle, Aquarius. And you're like, okay, fine, go handle whatever you need to handle because it doesn't involve me. I'm not helping you out. I hear like I'm not helping you out anymore. I feel like you went above and beyond for this King of Wands. And you're like, I'm not doing it no more. I'm done with it. Like, I'm tired of helping you. And then this is how you treat me. So, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Okay, we have the King of Pentacles reversed here with the Five of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Swords reversed some of you are dealing with an earth sign a verbal Taurus, or a capricorn and you have no idea what's going on with this person and you're like i'm tired of not knowing where you are what you're doing you call me when you want i thought like this person may have money issues or they either work a lot they have more than one job they really don't have a lot of time they're trying to get their finances in order and they may be choosing finances over love right now um, yeah, because you have the nine of pentacles, so you're fine. Your finances are in order. You know, you know, what's what, and you're very independent, hardworking. You may have a business or you just have a good job and it brings a lot of stability and security. And so you're fine when it comes to finances and somebody else is not. And so I feel like they may be putting all else above you. And you hardly ever see this person or talk to them. But this is someone who doesn't want to lose out on you. But they may feel like they don't have time to settle down or give you whatever you're wanting. Aquarius. And because you're pulling away, this person is going to have to come in and put in some extra effort just to try and keep you. All right, let's get one more. Give me one more for Aquarius. Give me one more for Aquarius. What do they need to know? The sun card reverse. There is a Leo here that's in love with you, but they stabbed you in the back and they betrayed you. And now this person feels like you're done with them. They feel like they're going to miss out on an opportunity with you. They're not going to be able to. This person is very pessimistic. They're thinking it. They're looking at things in a negative way instead of just reaching out to you and telling you all of these things that they're thinking and feeling. Okay, I know I said one more, right? Now let's get one, one more. Give me one more for Aquarius. I just want to see what comes up next because we have the Sun, the Ten of Swords. Somebody feels like they can't come back from something they did to you. They're like, I can't come back from this. Or Aquarius is not going to let me come back from this. This is it. This is over. I still love them. The Two of Cups. Oh, yeah, this person wants to talk. They definitely want to talk and fix the situation with you, but they may feel like it's over, it's done. This could be a twin flame that you're dealing with. With the lovers, the two of cups, and you had the devil, either a twin flame or a soulmate that's not going to give up on this situation, Aquarius. So those are the messages. This reading was supposed to be a quick energy check and reading. It is 24 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, this is your reading, Aquarius. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.